When you talk about drivers who will be the future major stars of NASCAR, who do you think about Christopher Bell, Ross Chastain, Matt DiBenedetto, Haley Deegan? There is one driver who I think will easily become a star that I did not just mention. That driver's name is Tyler Ankrum. In this video, I will tell you why I think he has the potential to become a dominant driver in NASCAR in the not too distant future. In 2018, Ingram began to compete in the NASCAR Pro Series East for DGR Crosley. Initially, he only planned to do half of the 14 race season. However, after the first three races of the season, which saw him fail to finish worse than fifth place and be leading the point standings, Ingram's season was expanded. He would respond by winning four of the remaining ten races in 2018, while also never losing the points lead on his way to the Series Championship. After his Pro Series East Championship, Ingram started a pair of Truck Series races for DGR Crosley at Martinsville Speedway and ISM Raceway. He finished 18th at Martinsville, but impressed with a 6th place finish at Phoenix. Ingram was rewarded by becoming a full-time driver for the team in the Truck Series in 2019, although he would have to miss the first three races of the season, all of which were tracks that are 1.5 miles or longer due to not being 18 years old at the time. In just his second race of the year, the Vancor 350 at Texas Motor Speedway, Ingram started and finished in 6th place in his Super Speedway debut. A little over two months later, when the series returned to Texas, Ingram would lead for 9 laps and ultimately finish 3rd, despite spinning out at one point in the race. However, sponsorship issues soon developed and he was pulled from his DGR Crosley truck for select races. In order to remain eligible for the playoffs, Ingram would drive for Nemco Motorsports in a pair of races at Iowa Speedway and Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway, where he would start and park. Eventually, Ingram returned to DGR Crosley. He would have his breakthrough race at the Buckle Up In Your Truck 225 at Kentucky Speedway. After qualifying 9th, Ingram would become a leading contender in the race and lead a race-high 40 laps, with less than 2 laps to go. Reigning series champion Brett Moffat ran out of fuel and Ingram claimed the lead, and with it, the win. As a result, Ingram was now locked into the playoffs. To show that his victory was no fluke, Ingram then finished in 2nd place at the following race, the Gander RV 150 at Pocono Raceway. In spite of these results, Ingram was still viewed as an underdog going into the playoffs, and it was considered unlikely that he would advance past the first round. Going into the third and final race of the first round of the playoffs, the World of Westgate 200 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Ingram was ranked 8th out of 8 drivers and was 14 points below the cutoff line to advance. He would be able to dig himself out of this hole by finishing in 11th place, good enough to move him up to 6th place in points and continue his championship run. Tyler Rankrum's story is one of persistent talent and getting the best out of opportunities that present themselves to him. For those reasons, I say that Tyler Ankrum will become a dominant driver in NASCAR in the not-too-distant future.